Hello, my name is Zain Asad from Asad Z-Man Films, and today I'm going to be going over this little camera. Actually, I'm just going to be showing you guys this little camera that I got from my photography class. I won this camera in the photography class. The teacher was like giving it away, and I ended up winning it. So, yeah, it's actually a pretty cool little camera. It's the Minolta SRT 101. I love this camera very much. Um, it came with the 55 millimeter 1.7 lens. Um, I also have a 90 millimeter, 90 millimeter to 230 millimeter zoom lens for I guess uh, if you, if I want to go take some pictures of like nature or birds or whatever. You know what I mean? Um, I think it's really cool. Yeah, it's actually a pretty heavy duty lens. This is my first film photography class. Uh, we shot in 35 millimeter film. I think I used the Pentax K1000. I used this camera in the class, but I ended up winning the Minolta SRT. It came with the zoom lens, and then it also came with this uh, Vivitor, Vivitor, Vivitor um, 28 millimeter lens. It's a wide angle lens, and it's pretty cool. I did my first roll of film on this. Unfortunately, a lot of the pictures were underexposed and it just taught me like saying like, oh crap, I need to learn my exposures more correctly and stuff. And uh, I just follow the Sunny 16 rules. I don't have a battery in it. There's the battery that goes like right here. And uh, I don't have a battery in it right now. So I'm just using it all mechanical. I just uh, have my shutter speed to 500 because uh, my shutter speed to 500 and my ISO is at 400. And uh, because I'm using uh, the Ultramax Kodak, uh, Kodak Ultramax uh, 35 millimeter film, and that's at 400 already. So I use the Sony 16 rule, and the closest thing to 400 is 500. So I just leave my eye, uh, my shutter speed. So I just leave my shutter speed to 500. And um, yeah, I gotta say it's a pretty interesting camera. I don't know if you could hear this. Look, watch. I'm gonna put this next to my, next to my. Um, uh, microphone so let's hear the hear the click of the of the shutter let's see if I could I'm gonna switch it to it's at f8 right now but yeah it's a it's a beautiful it's a beautiful camera it's pretty heavy duty actually it's really heavy dude I uh, I have a bag and probably the bag is probably like 15 pounds with this body the lens and those two other lenses um yeah it's a pretty sick camera i want to say it's my first uh 35 millimeter film camera and i i'm just like, super excited to use it i just wanted to do a little uh short video on this on this minolta srt you can get them for pretty cheap nowadays and i but i'm super glad because i got this for free so I just got to thank my photography teacher. Actually, his I guess his neighbor was a photographer back in the day, and he had this in the bo in a box, and he was like, "Here, give this to one of your students." So I have to thank that guy as well. So I hope my photography teacher is watching this. So because he told me to write a paragraph thanking that guy, so I hope this uh, this counts. I don't know, but uh, yeah, it's a pretty good camera. It's pretty sweet. Um, I, I don't know what else to say about it. Uh, I'm excited to use it. It came with like a little lens hood. Let's see if I could focus this. So it came with this little lens hood and stuff like that. Unfortunately, it was like kind of ripping. So I super, super glued it. I super glued it onto that metal piece right there. So it won't like fall off or well, I didn't super glue it. I super glued what was ripping off. I don't know if you could see it. Hold on. So I super glued that because it was ripping from right there. And uh, yeah, it works fine other than the ex excess glue that it had on it. But yeah, I just like slide it in. I just like slide it in to here. And it's a beautiful thing. It's beautiful. I don't know, it's like robust, it's a robust design. It's pretty heavy duty. It did come with the flash, but the flash isn't really working because I think the wire input to this is broken and then also, the there's like a little button right here there's like a little side button right here where you could see the exposure but i don't think that works either so i just follow the sunny 16 rules um i have one kind of good picture 
it was okay that's not really in focus but uh you could check it out right here and uh yeah it wasn't really in focus but it's okay yeah, I'm still learning this camera. Uh, I'm still learning how to figure out the perfect exposures and stuff like that. It's crazy because I use my, uh, I have a digital, I have a digital SLR that I'm shooting with right now, the Canon EOS RP, and uh, I'm always, I always shoot manual on the, I always shoot manually on the um, camera, but it has a digital display, it has a digital three inch display where you could see the actual like measurements of whatever it's going on but this this doesn't have a digital display at all so you kind of have to like do a um a guess with uh the exposure and the certain lighting situations and stuff like that but as long as you follow the sunny 16 rules those are the best that's actually what i learned in this photography class was actually the to follow the sunny 16 rules and uh i gotta say uh i don't know I, I, uh, I'm, I put uh, my second roll in, uh, film in here. It's 36 exposures and I can't wait to see how they turn out and stuff like that. Uh, there'll probably be some pictures on my Instagram. You could check out my Instagram, Zane, the filmmaker, and be sure to follow, give me a follow and, uh, like some of my pictures and yeah, tell me what you guys think about this Minolta SRT 101. If you guys have these, like if you guys have any tips, if you guys, if you guys, uh, what do you guys think of it and stuff? I looked at a lot of pictures online of like photographers using this and stuff. And the pictures are actually pretty amazing. I gotta say for, uh, this is like, I think this came out in like 66 to the seventies, 66 to like 76 or something like that. It was like 1966 when it first got released, you know what I mean? So it's, it's a pretty old camera and stuff. And, uh, I gotta say it, it held up pretty well. There's not, there's like some minor scratches up in the front right here, but other than that, but yeah, again, this is Zayn Asad from Asad Man Films. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Also, if you guys haven't already subscribed, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, I have more content coming soon. I just want to thank everyone who supported this channel so far. Hope you guys enjoy and like always, hope you have a good and wonderful day.